hi and welcome to Political Quickie, your political show that subjectively discusses current affairs in South Africa and all around the world. My name is Map Asik Amura and yes, we are back at our original setting, kind of, sort of, okay, where the lighting is perfect and so is my skin. <laughs> yeah, from the setting. Anyways, today we are discussing the Capitalist Party of South Africa. And I will admit, literally the first sentence that I read, um, you know, of the 10 principles, I thought, you know what, I probably do not want to cover this. But then I thought, wait, wait, the whole purpose of, you know, looking at all these different political parties is to make an informed decision come the 8th of May. So it's best that both you and I you know, discuss this particular political party. Um, so I, this is a disclaimer, I will not be voting for the Capitalist Party of South Africa because it is a more radical version of the Democratic Alliance. I think the Democratic Alliance is actually more compassionate and actually nice compared to the Capitalist Party. So um, we're just going to discuss for the purpose of knowing more about it and knowing to not vote for it. <laughs> yeah, so let's discuss. They have 10 principles that include liberty, equality, and their form of equality is that individual rights before group rights. The right to work, the right to protect yourself uh, from intruders on your own property, tolerance and the absolute protection of the freedom of expression, rule of law, the right to work, protection of private property rights, the right to firearms for self-defense, free market markets and international free trade based on enlightened self-interest and finally spontaneous order and civil society which actually means that the government uh, would rather allow uh, the civil society that is NGOs you know cultural and religious organization to deal with social problems According to the Capitalist Party, words do not equate to physical violence. And that's why they want to, you know, protect absolutely the freedom of expression. That means people will be able to express opinions that are sexist, racist, and xenophobic and not be held accountable. Also, uh, they believe that the difference between poverty and prosperity is property however they also believe that you know the expropriation of land without compensation is legalized theft the capitalist government will not impose a minimum wage because they believe that one has the right to work for another person as long as they agree on the terms okay people will have the right to own a firearm as long as they're mentally stable do not have a, a criminal record and are also properly trained uh, to use a firearm therefore children learners in high school will be trained on how to use a firearm. The party wants to ease visa requirements to encourage tourism. Um, however, the capitalist party of South Africa is anti-affirmative action because they believe that affirmative action undermines meritocracy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think maybe Jordan Peterson wrote this particular part of the 10 principles for them i think so hey <laughs> no like i can't deal furthermore they will decrease tax for businesses so that businesses can be able to invest in the society the way that they want to yeah unregulated the bus like businesses will just throw money to society even though they're not obligated to by law i mean yeah and this is the kind of unconscious capitalism that I reject personally. And there's no way in how I would vote for the capitalist party. They're absolutely appalling and shocking. But yeah, we shall see on the 8th of May and particularly on the 11th of May when the results come out. If the capitalist party of South Africa makes it to parliament, I think that, that will be interesting to see. Anyways, my name is Mapa Sakamura. Use your talents to serve humanity. And I will see you guys on Tuesday, the day before the elections. Goodbye.